Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Far Cry 5. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today, we're taking a walk on Mars. Let's get to it. So to recap, the previous episode, we found out that Urk lost his body, we got kidnapped to Mars, we got to save Earth from a bunch of spider bugs from Mars, and need to get Humpty Dumpty, otherwise known as Herc, back together again. Found out there's an AI on Mars, and need to restore the power in order to save the world. So this is part two of the series. If you have not looked at part one, go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, let's get to it. Make sure to hit the bell before you leave to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Energy core. Let's head to the closest antenna. Field acquired. Arachnid pulp acquired. Kind of deadly to me. Oh, just embrace it, man. See, there's a chance to test yourself and to test those space jets. Come on, man. Beware the stabilizer cores. Touching them will cause severe harm to any organic matter. Sucks for you, buddy, that you're made out of all that organicness. Too bad you don't have a sweet killer robot outfit like I do. Transference is the future. Robots never age, never decay, never rot. Robots are forever. Do you desire transference, Nick Rai? Uh, no. That's okay, I'm good. So what exactly is gonna happen once Anne's power is restored? As you restore power to my terminals, you will in turn help me regain control of my network. My robot army will power back on, and assist you in fending off the arachnid horde. Wait, robot army? Once I regain full control, I will direct my robots to the launcher, where they will travel to Earth and intercept the arachnid invasion. Jesus. I know, man, it's gonna be awesome. Her, that sounds terrifying. Thank you. 
mash up in my eyes here. What the hell is this? I've uploaded the locations of your body parts to your map. Antenna C1 restored. Energy core locations updated. Sweet! I'm picking up a reading now. Near that energy core, let's check it out, man. No stone left unturned, know what I mean? I gotta say, Anne, I'm touched. Cause I know you're not super on board with the idea of me being human again. I have had enough discussions with you, Herc to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh, man. That is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. We are. I just want to take a peek, okay? Force field acquired. Approaching mining station C1. Use caution. I am detecting a strong arachnid presence. A queen has laid her eggs here. Queen? Eggs? Remember what I said, Migo? Queen's gonna have that energy core with her, and we need to get it back. Killing her offspring will draw the queen out. Offspring? You mean, you mean babies, right? I don't want to kill babies. These ain't babies, okay? They're tiny little monsters, man. This is 100% guilt-free baby killing, man, like baby carrots or veal. Besides, it's the only way we can draw the queen out and get the energy core.
one time when I posted a photo of her taking a shit online. Oh, man. It was a funny picture, though. My mama, her face was so red, and it just looked like she was so focused. What the? My body part's on the move. Is it inside the queen? Oh, come on now. She's escaping! Killing other arachnids will anger her. She will return to protect them. Kill them space crabs, man!
this one time when I posted a photo of her taking a shit online? Oh, man. It was a funny picture, though. My mama, her face was so red, and it just looked like she was so focused. What the? My body part's on the move. It's inside the queen. Oh, come on now. babies. Man, you better finish off that queen because I want my body part back. Good 
Romeo. Look at him scram. Not so tough now, are you? Other thing. Exposing it to the arachnids will render them hostile toward one another. So I throw this thing out and the space crabs fight each other and not me. Fighting over a woman's heart. Maybe we ain't so different after all. Herc, these things want to eat every person on Earth. The universe works in mysterious ways, Nicholas. Terminal room locked disengaged. You may now enter. Station C1 restored. Systems now operating at 25%. Well done. My defenses have grown, but we are still far from our goal. Man, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You can, and you will, Nick. There will be danger at every turn, but I will be there to guide you. Hello, and me. I'm now capable of updating your map with all antenna locations. Restoring them should be your first course of action when entering a new area. Go now, Nick. Free me from these wretched creatures. I believe in you. I'm right here. You will save the Earth. Oh, good idea. Okay, whatever. I'll just be the accessory, the ultimate killing machine, an accessory. Super good idea there. You heard the lady. Let's go, Mr. Soul Hero of Earth, who don't need my help whatsoever. Of course not. Warning. Queen Arachnid ahead. Watch out for the Queen! <laughs> the Garden Forever, man. These guys were my first roadie gig back in the 90s. Tour, which was odd because back then everybody wore a cardigan. My mama ran a train on those guys and they got all depressed and whatnot. Says she made them feel used and objectified. Some people just aren't cut out for rock and roll, I guess.
Massive ears get out of here. The robot pain. Help 